Oh, don't let go! Why are we doing this anyway? Oh, Marion told us to. But why? How do I know? He said we'd find out. Where's Abby? She said she'd help us. She's probably doing something useful. All right, let's go. One, two, three. What the heck are they doing? Pushing water tank up a hill. I'm sorry if you had other plans, darling, but family takes precedence. What do I have to learn to ride a horse? Because I joined Pony Club at your age, and so did your father, and so did Abby. But I've got a bike to ride. Pony Club is a family tradition. Bikes don't poo everywhere. Just teach him the basics today. Balance, use of the seat. Yes, Mum. And pay attention to Abby. Yes, Mum. All right. I'll be back to pick you up in a couple of hours. Have fun. Yes, Mum. Yes, Mum. Listen, you are... Shh. You listen. You don't want writing lessons and I've got better things to do than give them. You're going to hang around with Marion. So what? Three dollars and you don't have to give me a writing lesson. And you don't tell Mum I'm hanging around with Marion. That'll cost you five dollars. You little slug. Tell us, what's this for? It's going to be a hideout. Yeah, our very own hideout. A hideout? Yeah. Uh, where's Abby? She said she'd help. Didn't turn up. What do you want a hideout for? Come on. Well, Sam and Ryan have one, so we have to have one. Boys are so pathetic. We can use these to tip it upright. Building a hideout, huh? Nick off! We know all about hideouts. Want some help? No. Sure. Positive. Okay, good luck. You're gonna need it. Hey! You are so good for that! <laughs> Eleven-year-olds. <sighs> okay, so we tie one end to the tank. I got a better idea. We tie one end to the horse and the other end to the tank. That was my idea. It was half your idea. <laughs> Do you reckon boys are born stupid? They must be. Hi, snobs. <laughs> He's down there. Shut up, snobs! I'm busy! Where are you going, snobs? Snobs! Did you go and get help? Thief! Can I help you, Mum? I was curious to see if the children still lived here. Why wouldn't they? If I were them, I would have run away ages ago. Look, I'm just going to collect them now. Would you move your car, please? Oh, go away. <coughs> Whose is this? Oh, who knows? Get away! This is that feral dog. He probably stole it. It's Charlie's. Well, he's having a riding lesson with Abby. Not without that, I hope. 
I think he's trying to tell us that something has happened. I hope you're aware of the damage you've done letting the feral stay. Rachel, the only problems I've seen have been mainly of your making. Charlie! Good dog. I think my ankle's busted. Here, let me see. What happened? Why aren't you with Abby? Where is she? Where is she? Up here for thinking, and down there for kicking Sam and Ryan's backsides. Oh, hey, look at the time. I have to find Charlie and get back. No, my hair mum will kill me. Pile it up. Put your helmet on. Yeah, she won't notice. Just take the junk out when you get home. It's not junk. It's organic decorations. It's J-U-N-K. Junk. Sorry I'm late, Mum. Charlie went home. Charlie's in hospital being x-rayed for a possible broken ankle. What happened? He said you refused to give him a lesson and you went off with the ferals instead. He's lying. Well, where have you been? He didn't want a riding lesson. I'd have given him one if he wanted one. Not another word. Rub the horse and come and get in the car. He didn't want a riding lesson. What's Gran doing here? Inside, please. I'll give you a hand. Leave him to me. The ankle isn't broken. It's badly sprained. I said leave him to me. The hospital gave him these. But he should stay off his feet altogether as much as possible. Thank you. Hi, Gran. Hello, Abby. Oh, I like your hair. That and this is all thanks to those ferals being here. I hope you're satisfied. Abby, help Charlie inside, will you? Dirty little liar. You didn't want riding lessons. It's not his fault. The doctor's in. Tell Mum the truth. You didn't want riding lessons. Charlie should know better than to walk on fences. He's learned his lesson. Off you go. And now you're going to learn one. I'm selling the horse. Mum, you can't. What? You expect to constantly, deliberately disobey me and get away with it? I'm sorry. Mr. Savage is looking for a horse for Brody. I'm going to call him now. Brody Savage? Please don't sell Gypsy to Brody. Abby, you have long since lost the right to ask for favours. Get that muck out of your hair. Hello, Mrs Oakley. How lovely to see you again. Hello, Brooke. It's lovely to see you too. I wish we saw more of you. Mrs Oakley, I cannot tell you how much I wish that too. Oh, I found one of Abby's tops at my place. Do you think I could possibly give it back to her? Of course. Come in. Thank you. Abby's upstairs. Don't die of fright when you see what she's done to her hair. Oh, no. She hasn't done anything terrible to it. After all that money you spent on it. What happened to you? How come you're here? You and Abby hate each other. <sighs> Nick off or I'll trip you up. Go away, Charlie. You already saw it. Not up close. What do you want? This was at my place. You could have given it to me at school. What do you want? I bet you got in trouble for it. And it serves you right. Okay, you've gloated. You can go now. What's your punishment? None of your business. I'll just ask you, Mum. She's gonna sell Gypsy. She can't. It's worse. Brady Savage is gonna get him. That creep? You've always loved Gypsy. He's beautiful. Would your mum buy him? If I ask her, at least I know he'd be going to a good home. I'll ask my mum. On one condition. What? that you never hang around with Marion again. Never, ever. Abby, if you don't swear to me, I won't ask my mum. And Brody Savage will get Gypsy. Where's Marion? He 
he'll know what to do. He's hiding from Rose. He's due for a bath. The thing is, you hardly ride the horse anymore. I know I don't. I probably won't mind if she sells Gypsy. But not to Brody Savage. He's a spoiled brat. He won't look after him. And you said no to Brooke. She was blackmailing me. Maybe we could hide the horse. That'll only get Abby into more trouble with the mum. If it stops Brody getting Gypsy, I don't care. I know what we can do. It'll stop Mr Savage from buying the horse and you won't get into trouble off your mum. I saw a bloke do this up the coast. Are you sure it won't hurt him? No way. It's a great idea. Great. It's brilliant. Does it hurt when you get a pebble in your shoe? No, you just limp a bit. So Gypsy's just going to limp a bit. Mr Savage will think the horse is lame and he won't want to buy it. Who needs Marion? <laughs> it wasn't a bad idea. You wouldn't have thought of it. I would have thought of something different. Not as brilliant. Brillianter. More brilliant. See, P is on my side. Here's Gypsy. It's fat and ugly. No, it's not, Brody. He's in pretty nice condition. Does it bite? Only obnoxious people. Abby, walk Gypsy for Mr. Savage and Brody, please. Sure. Come on, Gypsy. <coughs> Perfect. Doesn't work yet. It will. We hope. <laughs> it's no good. I don't want it. Just a minute, Brody. It's not lame, is it? Could be. It wasn't yesterday. Here, let me see. <laughs> oh, no. I told you it was a stupid idea. <laughs> it's just a stone in the shoe. He'll be fine. Walk him again, Abby. So what do you think, Brian? Nice animal. We'll take it. I'll drop the check off to you. <laughs> What's your next genius idea? We have to hide the horse. But isn't that stealing? Mr Savage owns him now. Huh, not till he pays for him. But that'll get Abby into more trouble. She said she didn't care. Oh, this is too easy. Just got to yank these out, send her right back down the hill. Where's Marion? It's got to be a trap. Yeah, Marion's not stupid. Maybe it's booby trapped. No, it's safe. Marion's forgotten about it. Okay, I'll yank these trucks out, you give it a shove. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's Abby's horse. What are they doing with it? Stealing it. Abby's their mate, idiot. Why would they steal her horse? Got to be up to something. Come on, let's see. Hello, Brian. Brody? Hi, Rachel. There's a problem with the horse. We were going to pick it up on the way here with the check. It's gone. I'm sorry? The horse isn't there. The paddock's empty. Mum, I don't know where Gypsy is. It's the truth. You mean your feral friends haven't told you where they took him to stop me selling him? Mum, please don't sell Gypsy to Brody Savage. Anyone but Brody Savage. I assume you asked your feral friends to hide the horse. All right. Technically, I suppose they haven't stolen him. But you can't hide a horse forever. Gypsy will be found. And to speed things up, I'll be offering a reward. And the reward will come out of your pocket money. doing? Don't tell me where the horse is. Why not? So I'm telling Mum the truth when I say I don't know. Where's Marion? In the bath. Rose caught him. Serves him right. Mum's still selling Gypsy to Mr Savage. I begged her not to, but she wouldn't listen. And she's offering a reward to anyone who finds Gypsy. Come on. The horse. He's easy to find where he is. 
Maybe we should move him. You'd better, but don't tell me where. If you want to show Steve your crutches, ring him and tell him to come over. I did. He's got the flu. It's not far to his place. You have to stay off your feet. Sit down. Hello, Mrs. Oakley. Hello, Ryan. Sam. We were just talking to Brody Savage. He reckoned his dad was going to buy Abby's horse. That's right. Apparently, somehow, it got out of its paddock. Oh, that's terrible. Yes, it is. As a matter of fact, I'm offering a reward. It's a very good idea, Mrs. Oakley. How much? Fifty dollars. Well, it's hard work looking for a horse, Mrs. Oakley. How about seventy-five? You do not get half. We're partners. I'm the brains. If you had any brains, you'd know you haven't got any. your own business. You ought to try it. <sighs> Boys. What's his name? Gypsy. Here, Gypsy. Good boy. Here, Gypsy. You're hopeless. Here, Gy yeah, you know all about horses? You go get him. Only if I get half the reward. Okay. What are you guys doing here? Oh, I found a stolen horse. We're getting the reward. The horse wasn't stolen. You were told to nick off, so nick off. shortcut to Steve's place and a horse ran over me. A horse? Whose horse? Abby's horse got away. I can't even have a bath without you mucking things up. Oh, come on. Make sure he's okay. I forget. What are you doing? It's not this way. Where's he going? How should I know? You go that way and I'll go this way. Take me home. Mum will kill me. I don't know where your clumsy gene comes from. Certainly not from me. Come on, get in. Look out! Turn around! Not so fast! Let me go! Let me go! You're mad! You bet. So you caused this whole problem. What are we going to do about it? Let me go! Not until we find out a punishment. I know. How about you build us a hideout? Okay? Okay! What do you think you're doing? We're gonna trap him! You're a genius, snobs! So much for that idea. If you tell anyone I cried, you're dead. What happened to you two? Look out! Rachel. Mum. Have you counted your children recently? I beg your pardon? You could be missing one. I'm not. Abby and Charlie are both at home. Charlie is home. Now. Any parenting tips you need, remember, I'm only a phone call away.
boy. Steady. That was amazing. Velvet's lame. <laughs> Velvet's boat attendant. I won't be able to ride it for a really, really long time. If ever. Oh, I'm so sorry, Brooke. Me too. She's a lovely horse. She's beautiful. But thanks for saving Gypsy. Yes, indeed. Mrs Oakley, please don't sell Gypsy to Mr Savage. I'd like to buy him. With no conditions. Well, to be honest, Brooke, I'd prefer to see you rather than Brody on Gypsy. In fact, it's not even a sale. You can have Gypsy. Thank you. There! No, here! No, I want it here. I want it here! Well, the extra couple metres is better. No, if it's up more, you see them coming. Well, it's getting built here. What's going on? Look, I want it built here. No, here. I thought you were giving Gypsy to Brooke. I'm having one last ride. Oh, OK. It's going here because I'm getting it built. You are not. It's too heavy. We're letting it go. Better not. You agreed to build us a hideout for punishment. I've changed my mind. OK. I'll just have to tell everyone that you... Push, you weakie. Push! Next on Empire, the price is right, followed by neighbors.